<laughs> Do we have Miss Virginia here? Miss Virginia? Yeah, here we are. Mm. Is this on? Yes, ma'am, it is. Um, I'd, I'd like to start off by thanking you all for <clears throat> uh, letting me speak this evening. Uh, I have a cousin who is a county commissioner in Cherokee County, mm. and I know that y'all have a right <laughs> smart piece of work that y'all have to deal with. Um, I'm here at, well, in part to talk about roads and how they'd be affected, but um, yeah, I'm running for uh, Senate District 14, and I've been talking to people in the district and one of the biggest concerns that people have is that prison in Briarfield and how it's going to affect Briarfield and the surrounding areas. And one thing we found is that there, due to the construction, uh, if it goes through, you know, all the heavy equipment, the increase in traffic, um, the increase after it would be finished is it would have, I mean, it would definitely affect Highway 60, uh, Highway 65, Interstate 65, but it would also affect Highways 22, 31, 82, and 139. And there are also concerns about uh, them, you know, it's been indicated that they would handle their own wastewater, and that, of course, you know, has made a lot of people quite concerned about polluting water supplies and uh, rivers and streams and lakes and you know anything that feeds into them, uh, including the Cahaba. Um, the other thing people are really concerned about is the uh, how much water they're going to be using. Uh, they've been. I know that they have dug for at least two wells out at the site at Briarfield, and I know they've contacted um, a few municipalities here and there about providing them water, and that would probably put a strain on a lot of, especially the smaller communities' water systems, and people are very concerned about that. And they're also concerned with you know, a prison being in their backyard. And I don't know if y'all have ever been out to where that site is, but you know, the environmental, just from a conservation standpoint, there are a lot of hunting clubs up there, like across, like literally across the road from the site, and they're gonna be gone. And you know, I've, I've come from way out in the country, um, Cherokee County, and yeah, I, everybody in my family hunted. And yeah, that's, that's a concern for a lot of people. And, you know, and other people have concerns because of you know, moral issues and the fiscal issues inherent in this deal where you know, we're paying all this money to private companies, we're giving public funds to private companies to the tune of currently $3 billion. And the contracts that have come out so far are, they, they're often pitched as 30-year leases, but they aren't. They're 31-year leases. The governor can only bind the state to a contract for up to one year. Anything else has to be done by the legislature. And they, their reasoning for wanting to build the prison was uh, to address a lawsuit that was, that was filed by the Department of Justice in, on December 9th, 2020, that arose out of an investigation that began in 2016 to see whether the state of Alabama could provide what was minimally constitutionally required in terms of providing inmates with, you know, a, a, reasonably safe environment, uh, you know, protect, you know, that they were, they were reasonably protected from assault, abuse by other prisoners, uh, the understaffed correctional officers, and what, what seemed to be the greatest problem 
at the heart of the lawsuit was overcrowding and understaffing. And the Department of Corrections has stated that one way they'll pay for it is by closing prisons. But with the prison in Escambia County, the prison in Elmore County, and the one they're proposing in Briarfield, that's roughly 10,000 beds. The state of Alabama has 15,000 inmates. The problem is not solved. Well, what, what are you asking of us tonight? I am asking that, you know, on behalf of people that I've spoken with in the district in Chilton County, I'm asking that the commission consider a resolution or proclamation in opposition to the prison in Briarfield. Okay. It's well, very important to the people. Uh, th this is the one thing mm -hmm. I've heard over and over is right. that prison. Well, it, it's, uh, it's one of those things, no matter where it is, everybody that has it don't want it. Yes. And, and we all, we realize that. We've had one individual come to almost every meeting we've had since word leaked out in early early summer, I guess, of last year. And we, you know, he's he's kept us surprised of everything that's going on up there. Uh, you know, it. I don't know what we can do, but we can take it under advisement. It's not in our county, and it will have some effect on our people, but not a great deal of effect. Well, I've, I've asked the same of the Bibb County Commission, and I'll be asking the same of the Shelby County Commission, because I, I do think that, you know, while uh, the body's authority may be limited in what you can, you know, I mean, you, you can't rip up the contract, mm -hmm. you know, it's, er, we all understand that. It's a pretty much done deal. But right? it is. it's, the Briarfield is not a done deal. It can still be stopped. And that's why I'm asking the commissions, and I'm going to be speaking with city councils to I'm issue sure such possible. Sure, that because my understanding is that contract has been signed yes. and it's done. It's done. That would be news to me if I think it's real. Well, uh, it. Um, I'd heard there were some problems with negotiations recently, but um, you know, it it would be, you know showing it that you've taken a stand well, we, we can't take a stand for something that's not in our backyard though it's not in our backyard it's in it's in it's in bibb county's backyard it's in briarfield and to answer your question about construction briarfield is better known for construction of, of mining quarries and a lot of heavy traffic down there already am i correct uh yes there is a lot of heavy traffic yeah. in that so i don't see how that's going to affect 82 2265 you talking about construction wise is that yes. what you're talking about well that, i mean there's i travel that road a lot i'm in construction I'm not that way yeah well i <laughs> i'm, I'm so, not arguing that you know we, we, yeah. we definitely need them so, but so here, the detrimental effects of this particular prison um yeah it's it's very important to the people in District 14, well, including I'll, the people in District 14. I'll, I'll tell you County. this, and, and I'm not trying to cut you off, but we do have a, a time limit, and we're way over now. So, so I, I, I appreciate I kind of am cutting you off, but we, we do have some discretion with that. Everybody up here is very familiar with this project. And all it would take, and it can't happen tonight because of our meeting rules, but all it would take is for one of these commissioners to put something on a work session to be discussed and vetted and then a resolution offered for that to happen. So I would advise you, if that's where you want us to go, to have some sidebar conversations with, with these commissioners to see if you can find somebody that's interested. Um, I have personal friends that live in that area that are very opposed to this, close people to me. And my question continues to be, if not Briarfield, where? You know, we, we, want, a, we want an adequate prison somewhere so that the state of Alabama cannot get overtaken by the federal government. And what what is the solution? If this is not the solution, tell us what the solution is and offer us a, a secondary solution because something's got to be done. I actually have two. Uh, there are bills currently in the legislature uh, to repeal the Habitual Offender Act for nonviolent offenders. Uh, you know, people who 
you know, yes, they qualified under habitual offender, but it wasn't violent. Um, and so there's you, also... What do you call not violent? Drug dealer? No, people that steal stuff from you and they get arrested yeah. and they turn them back out and they steal from you again and they get arrested. And... Well, and it could... Mr. And Chair, it could may, be, I, may I say something? Ma'am, I'm a newly elected commissioner for mm -hmm. this term, but back in January, the first meeting that a guy came representing this, I talked to one of our representatives. Regardless what this group of commissioners say in Chilton County, has very little to no weight of what will happen there. And I understand your concern. I don't think I'd want it in my backyard either, but there's really nothing that this body here can do. I, I understand. And you know, my, my other was uh, fixing the prisons that we have, right. that we own, instead of signing a 30-year lease. Well, if we would, I could believe I can really speak on this just for one minute because I told the uh, chairman we've got six minutes. We're already past that. If we quit babysitting people and hold them accountable, that would get your prison system down. Well, thank you. And we will take it under advisement. And if, like I said, if you want to, our numbers are on the county website. You're welcome to call any Certainly. of us and discuss this. And we, we, we just don't believe there's, we don't believe our actions will in it will affect this one bit. The governor's going to do what she wants to do, whether we like it or not, and whether the people of Briarfield like it or not. I, I understand your point. Um, it, you know, I, I would ask that you consider that, you know, it. Sometimes we do things that we know aren't going to work just because it's right. right, and you know, and people are often remembered for those things. And this could be one of those things. Thank you. Thank right. you, sir. We'll take it under advisement. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you Thank so you. much. Commissioner Mims? Yes, sir. I'd like to.